Hello Ponds and Bridges! Today we will answer the question, could we bioengineer a cow so that it photosynthesizes? But in order to answer this question, we need to know what is photosynthesis. So long story short, photosynthesis is an ability from photoautotrophic organisms. It's the ability to fixate the inorganic carbon, like CO2 for example, in order to make organic molecules like lipids, sugar, protein or DNA. But in order to do so, they need energy. Because in order to create a carbon-carbon bond, you need energy. And in the sugar, lipids, protein and DNA, you have a lot of carbon-carbon bonds. Because all biomolecules are based on carbon. Therefore, you need energy in order to create a biomolecule, like for example, sugar or lipid. And photoautotrophic organisms are using sunlight as a source of energy to create organic molecules from inorganic molecules. In contrast to photoautotrophic organisms, us animals are heterochemotrophic organisms. It's a complicated word that means that we are unable to fixate inorganic carbon to make organic molecules. And our only source of energy is the breakdown of organic molecules that we eat from plants. Yes, because in order to create a carbon-carbon bond, you need energy, but when you break this bond, you release the energy. Therefore, we depend on plant as the only source of energy and the only source of carbon. Because yes, every single calorie that you eat initially came from the sun, captured by the plant through photosynthesis. But now the question that we want to answer is, why can't animal photosynthesize? Because as you saw just before, it would be a very huge advantage. It is a great source of carbon and a great source of energy which are two of the main things that all living organisms need in order to survive. So why didn't animals evolve this ability? But actually that's not true. There are at least seven species of slugs that are able to photosynthesize. They eat an algae and they digest everything from the algae except for the chloroplast and they incorporate the chloroplast inside of their own cells. Just very shortly, the chloroplast is the organelle within a cell that is responsible for the photosynthesis. And the chloroplasts are green because they contain a pigment, which is called the chlorophyll, and this pigment is responsible to capture the sunlight. And it was shown in the laboratory that these chloroplasts are still active inside of the slugs, which make these seven species of slug the only known animals on the planet that are able to photosynthesize. And because they are able to photosynthesize, they are able to at least partially make their own food. So now the new question is, why are these seven species of slug not ruling the world? And why are there not more animals that are able to make photosynthesis like these slugs? So there is a group of scientists that actually answered this very question. The link for this article is in the description. So, as a very short summary of the article, you need to understand three points. First of all, a cow is growing at a rate of 180 kilograms in a year. In order to grow at this rate, it needs to eat roughly 500 kilograms of corn in a year. This is the most conservative estimate. And the corn is produced by the maize plant through photosynthesis. Roughly one meter square of litharia from the maize is able to produce 0.3 kilograms of corn in a year. So how much does the surface area need to be in order to produce not 0.3 but 500 kilograms of corn in a year? All of you who master the multiplication like me can check along. 500 divided by 0.3 is equal to roughly 1600 meters square. So a cow that only gets its carbon source and energy source through photosynthesis would need to have a surface area of roughly 1,600 meters square. It corresponds roughly to one third of a football field. So now you start to understand why animals did not evolve photosynthesis. First of all, because we need much more energy than a plant. Therefore, the surface area, in order to have a carbon source and energy source, needs to be way bigger than we can actually sustain. And we are only starting with the problems. Because if we have a surface area of roughly 1,600 meters square, assuming a cow has a big leaf on its back, the leaf itself would weigh roughly 1,600 kilograms. 
So the cow would need to live many years just in order to grow a leaf big enough to sustain its normal growth. And on top of that, the cow still needs to drink water because contrary to plants, we don't have roots dig in the soil that is capturing the water for us. And we also need to eat, at least in order to get nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, iron and a lot of other micronutrients. So it is useless for an animal to make photosynthesis if we still need to eat in order to have the other source of micronutrients. And now you start to understand why we animals have to eat all day. Because instead of having a big leaf that is harvesting carbon and energy for us, we are eating plants all day that already harvested carbon and energy for us. Another advantage of not photosynthesizing is that we don't depend on sunlight day by day. We eat plants that already harvested carbon and energy for us. And we are not buried in the soil, meaning that thanks to our muscles, we can move around and we can also do that. Hi, evolution, yeah. You know this thing of having muscles and that we can walk around? Yeah, it's really great, but could you also evolve some consciousness? Yeah, because I'm afraid we are going to need that. And finally, contrary to plants, we are not limited by the surface to volume ratio, meaning that we can grow in a big variety of shapes and sizes that allowed us to evolve muscles and brains. As a conclusion, photosynthesis is amazing, but it only makes sense at the scale of a plant who, contrary to us, doesn't need much energy to survive and grow. That's it for today. If you want to bond with us, please hit subscribe and like this video. And if you want to create bridges between us and your friends, please share this video on your social media. Now, if you want me to explain a bit more in detail the photosynthesis, let me know in the comment and I will make a whole video about photosynthesis. Another advantage of not photosynthesizing is that we don't rely on sunlight or putain. We don't depend on sunlight to have energy every day. Yeah, actually we do. Putain. Um, a cow is growing at a rate of 100 kilograms a year. No? 100? It was N and then Q. I just said 100 N. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah.